In every country with available data, trans populations are among the most at-risk groups for HIV. In 2017, global HIV prevalence among trans people was approximately 13 times higher than among cisgender adults. Despite this, trans populations are frequently not included in national data collection efforts or recognized by national governments as priority populations in their HIV responses. As a result, meaningful inclusion of trans people in national strategic plans is rare, and this exclusion continues to contribute to poor HIV-related health outcomes among the population and to comparatively low levels of trans-specific funding and programming. The lack of meaningful engagement also leads to ineffective approaches to HIV programming, creating an enabling environment and leveraging the positive impact of including gender-affirming services in increasing the uptake of HIV services, improving economic livelihoods for trans people, addressing hostile legal policies, and other priority areas for trans communities are often overlooked. To change this, it is important that trans organizations understand and utilize the links between NSP engagement and their existing organizational mission, strategy, and goals. For this, we prepared two guides, one for governments and another for activists. The information comes from our desk review, 45 activist survey responses, interviews with trans activists, government officials and donors, as well as a validation meeting. To share some highlights from our survey findings, we learned that for this work, 71% of organizations believe in the power of building alliances across movements rather than working in isolation. 73% experience financial challenges to attending meetings. While 81% feel government officials in the country coordinating mechanism do not understand the challenges that trans people face. 90% are of the opinion that trans engagement will improve through the inclusion of a trans representative in the technical working group and 86% feel that donor mandated and monitor funding will improve engagement, while 85% say capacity strengthening on technical HIV information for activists is needed. We found that one big challenge for trans organizations to participate in national strategic plan processes is the low level of community awareness. Let's come up with ways to ensure that we bring our communities with us, that we leave no one behind. We have listened, learned, and come up with a suggested list of actions that your organization can take to start getting involved in this work. Mapping out and strengthening relationships with other key population-led organization, networks and actors, so that we can work collaboratively. Not waiting to be invited to engage in NSP processes, but taking proactive steps like engaging in endorsed letter writing campaigns to demand meaningful engagement. Advocate for and or engage in data collection. There is insufficient data on transport pressures. And where there is data, the under-resourcing of responses for trans population is clear. Activists can advocate for and engage in gathering population estimates accurate data on various areas relevant to the HIV response. We invite your organization to read and share our guidelines and work with us to make an impact on an area that has affected trans communities around the world for a very long time.
where do you join us? You can download both the guidelines for government and for activists at our website at the link provided below.